Hey man, from t first one from 2007. Not a bad video game film adaptation at all. One of the better ones. This film's hated, totally hated. It's not classic, but it's definitely one of the better video game adaptations, especially from that period. Anyway, it's my thoughts on this film. Stay tuned. Me and Buff will give you the my thoughts. We'll give you the thoughts soon. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. But it's a fun adaptation. Fun gun blast. Definitely. And here we go. Hitman with Tommy Oliphant, I pronounce the name, as Agent 47, everybody's favourite assassin. I'm a big fan of the video games. This film was in the development since 2003, with actually Mendeza meant to be 47 himself, be backed out and staying as producer. Also, the rumour that Paul Walker was actually considered as well as well. Either this one or the, 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 the Agent 47 released years later. Or consider that for that one, for that, for that, for that, for that one. AG 47 remake, reboot. Paul Walker was considered that one, but we knew that we meant, meant to be for this one. Step down and had Tommy Oliphant instead. Don't know if one does what you best, which it was given. The cold assassin, man of three words, man of business, does what he does when he's necessary. There aren't any distractions in his way. This film. Well, comic book film, well, there was more comic book film ever than video game films. There wasn't too many video game movies. There's Blood Rain, but all terrible. All, pretty much all the video game movies released at that time were directed by Uwe Ball. So this is one of the few directs not by Uwe Ball. Actually, not bad. Decent. Fun thrill wise, three out of five. Six and a half out of ten. I had fun with this one. Simple story, all an hour and a half. 47 is Heidi Killer, Russian president. We get set up. And it's supposed to find who's betrayed him. And one of the targets, played by, what's the name? Olga Kurilenko. He's a, she's a hooker by High Kind Cook, who's one, one of 47's, it's the mm -hmm. mysteries of what 147 targets. He's brought to, to the Ocean Prime President as well. Uh, so what he's trying to find who's behind this and a like, crew who was, you know, behind this was to uh, But, you know, he called the organization nation making make him a target because all the assassins are after him as well. Some fun action scene this one has, especially in the hotel scene, where he's, he's, he's killing, he, gets, he, he jumps on, ele on, on top of the elevator and kills all, all, the, all the soldiers inside. There's another scene where he's, where he's, where he's, where he's you know, He's faced with a weapon to steal, and he oh, and he says, "I says a funny line. I can't remember the line now. He says a funny line, and he goes over. Oh, like he was like, a, it's like and he goes eight off, you know, kills everybody inside, and oh, so some of you could actually see this in a movie. And even towards the end in the church, some could actually see this movie. This one gets a lot of hate, but I fun. Definitely one of the better with the game adaptations." Like fun script, and also you got Dougie Scott, he's an Interpol agent, tried, you know, track down 47. And um, he had fun this film, I had fun. I, I quite enjoyed this film. I've seen, I may, I, well, I see the, the Age of 47 reboot one day, I, but from, I saw bits of it and I filmed, from what I heard, worse than this, this was a masterpiece compared to that one. But he finally regained, like I am, we we'll give this one a watch. Just not terrible. It's one of the be better video game adaptations. It's on Netflix. You've got Netflix as guy all guys. I really enjoy this one. Vin Diesel, but I think to me, I feel it's actually a good choice for 47. Vin Diesel, I'm not too sure. Was it 47? It's bold, but maybe it's, I'm not sure. It's, maybe it's too big, hench. 47, 47, not a hench case, a slim guy, slim tall guy, 47, not a hench guy like Wendy's, Wendy's maybe too bulky for 47, but 
But I see if you like video game adaptations, you're a fan of the series, you love a movie about Hitman, give us a watch. But if you like the John Wick films, give us a watch. I had fun. I had a lot of fun this film. The support cast all good. Kalenko, she's there. She's like a possible love interest. What's what's in as well? Dewey Scott, Scoo Scott's all right there. You also got that guy from Prison Bay, Robert Nepper. Yeah. As as an as a corrupt um Russian agent. He's 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 with the president. Um it's, it's not about supporting cast. This movie did quite well at box office, twenty four million budget and made over hundred million worldwide. We we'll actually make a sequel to this one, but because the quick recession being very poor, decided not to. And did it and we booted it years later. But I wouldn't mind seeking this one with Tommy for Olsen back at Class 47. Camille does a good job as the everybody's favourite assassin. Like I really enjoyed this one. Like, like it's not a classic. Um but it's fun there's some good action scenes and good casting. T Elephant does what he can. That's 47. That's fun. And um If, if the, I'm going to say the world will reboot one day, but still, I wouldn't mind what I'll talk about again. It's 47, and if they ever reboot the franchise again, it's film wise. Like I said, I'm, I really enjoyed this film. One of the, one of the better, uh, my, one of my favorites or, or the, with Mortal Kombat, Simeon Myers movie. Um, well, probably my, maybe my third favourite, maybe fourth. It's in Mortal Kombat from 1995. And this is Evil. This is Super Mario's Bobby's and this, what, yeah, for top, every top five video game adaptations of all time. Yeah. Yeah, thumbs up for me. Six, six out of ten, six and a half out of ten. Three stars out of five. Give, us, give, us a, give this film a watch. Especially like the you know Hitman game, like Hitman movies. Love actually, you've actually been a fan like myself. Give this one a watch. You definitely have fun. Netflix, Netflix, chill movie indeed. Stay here. I'll be back.